Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so last example we have understand uh, how can we fetch data from server. So now in this example we're gonna make uh, the contact app again. Uh, so we discussed in a previous videos called the contact app for interaction between the component but only thing which we have uh, not made in that app is uh, we have a local data. Okay, earlier we have a local data and let's convert the same application for fetching data from server okay small conversion required uh, so let me i have uh, i already have i mean i have taken a backup of previous application though it is just completely empty and i have started the server now let's change this to react.js with contact app okay you get the contact app and now let's get the contact app because uh, I don't want to develop the contact app again from the scratch. Uh, we just only apply the uh, server connection. Okay. So first let me go to my YouTube uh, source code and this contact app SRC. So I have a components and services. So let's grab these two. Go to here in SRC I'll paste it okay components i have app card and list and services i have a service as well okay so now i go to app i will just connect the contact app as a parent i connect the contact app so now you got the contact has been uh, contact app has been displayed and whatever the person you have selected so it's been display on the right side okay so that's fine now now the same application we want to get it from server i mean the data so if you closely observe in a contact app uh, in contact app the parents receives the contact okay there is no actually data here i mean it only receives from the child when you go inside of uh, contact list uh, yeah observe very closely this contacts will receive data from service get contact list so when you go inside the service get contact list so that is fetching a local data see this all the data is local so let's convert into a a server connection using axios so what i will uh, do is first of all i don't need to write this get list i'll just make it as mtra because first time when you declare it, it, it must be a, an empty array. And after fetching data, they can, you can assign an actual data. So you check, there is no data has been displayed because I kept it as a empty. Okay, fine. And then next step, go to service. You don't need this entire data. You can remove it because don't store it in local. You just need to import axios so import axios from axios and uh, static get contact list so what i do is let uh, server url is equal to um, the server url so this is the server url which i can add in the uh, this uh, videos um, was called description um i have a server url okay so what you have to do here is return watch is a get request because we have to get data from server so axios dot get of server url that's all okay so this function is returns a promise because axios dot get returns a promise so how you resolve the promise is back to contactless and, and that too I am writing a logic received from server. So you must use it for fetching data or calling service in a use effect hook. So what I do is I'll write use effect hook in this use effect hook in this I'm gonna call the service. Uh, can we use the async await syntax so let's say async and uh, let response or else you may write something called try and catch catch uh, let's say error and uh, here let's response 
is equal to um, what is that? Uh, contact service dot get all contact list, and this is a wait. Just wait for the contact. I mean the response. Once you receive the response, just add it to the state. So how you add to state? Set state. Set state. You have a function. In this contacts will be response uh, dot data. Okay, so you will be receiving the contacts data, and for error you can just make a a console dot log of error as of now. Okay, so when the page loads, use effect in the sense when the page loads, uh, I mean page renders on the UI. It is able to connect to server and fetching data from the so and so URL, and that particular response, the data is actual data assigned to the state, and the same state data uh, from now onwards the flow is same because you get the length the display, and when you click on a contact and you send to the parent, you send to the parent, everything is same. Okay, so now check. I refresh. I got data. When I select, so application is perfectly working. Now only thing we change is in my service. I don't have any local data. I'm just fetching it from the server. So in this URL, you can use any Node.js SAP URL or any uh, Spring or Python or .NET. Any 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 server URL you can uh, add it and you can able to fetch it and connect to the component for display okay so that's all uh, about uh, this video and let's meet the next video for react js routing thank you so much and let's meet the next video